What's your favorite part about this truck? I'm driving. Uh oh. Oh, hey, yeah. ladies. We are gonna do something really fun in a minute, but first I wanna tell you something. Meredith and I took a secret trip that we didn't tell you guys about to Hawaii. And the reason we didn't tell you is because this was our 10 year anniversary trip, and Mary and I have been talking about going to Hawaii ever since we got married, and we decided, we've never been, we decided to finally do it for our 10 year anniversary, and so we took a secret trip where we didn't vlog, we didn't do any of that, we didn't wanna to have to worry about content, we wanted to just worry about hanging out with each other and enjoying each other and not making videos. So I kind of backlogged We're videos. We're going in my dad's new <laughs> So I backlogged videos so we could release them while we were in Hawaii so you wouldn't even notice we were gone. So I did film a tiny amount. Uh, we ended up meeting up with Roman and Brittany because they were there getting married. And um, we uh, also, Jamie O'Brien, who's a big name in the surfing industry, uh, he was there too, and we all met, and Roman and Jamie taught Meredith and I how to surf. So I have a little bit of video of us surfing with Roman, and I'm going to play a little montage for you right now, and then Lincoln wants me to go do something that he's really pumped about. So here's the surfing montage. <laughs> you got this. Little cute one. Success. We're sinking it. Really good. Congratulations on getting married. Super exciting, we're super proud of y'all. Also, Roman and Jamie O'Brien, thank you for teaching Meredith and I how to surf. Mare's better than I am at surfing. It's fine, it's, I don't care, it's totally oh, Stab right into the heart. Oh, the manly ego took a shot this past week, guys, when your wife's better at something athletic than you are. It's fine, I'm, I'm thankful to have an athletic wife, so it's all good. This episode is sponsored by Audible. And right now, they're offering you guys a chance to have a free audiobook if you start your 30-day trial right now. What you do is go to audible.com slash off the ranch, or if you're in the US, you can text off the ranch to 500 500. I've been using Audible for a long time. It's great for like when you're running and you wanna kinda of pass the time a little faster, or you're sunbathing, or just hanging on the beach or whatever, or taking a long plane ride, like I just did. And so that's what I did, I got on Audible, started looking for popular titles because I wanted to download something for the plane ride, and I found The Martian by Andy Weir. And I was like, that's a movie. And I didn't even know that that Matt Damon movie that came out a few years ago, The Martian, it was based on this book, which came out a couple years before that. Super good book, definitely recommend it, and it helped me pass the time on the plane. So right now, go to audible.com slash off the ranch or text off the ranch to 500 500 and you can download this book or any of their others they have an unmatched selection of audiobooks super awesome service i highly recommend it let's go drive this truck you ready where is it lincoln has been waiting we've actually had the truck for like a week 
and he hasn't been able to drive it yet because we, we got it and then we left town. Even though on the YouTube it doesn't look like it because we... I'm the driving seat! Can you tell he's excited? Link, are you ready for this thing? Do you like trucks? Yeah. Do you like cars? Yeah. Do you like things that are loud? This truck is super loud. Are you going to be cool with that? <laughs> All right, let's do it. There's no doors. Don't hit your head. I oh. did hit my head. What do you think? Where are the keys? I don't know. Can I sit here? No. You're going to drive it all by yourself? Yeah. <laughs> I think I might need to drive. You want to sit in my lap? No, I want to drive all by myself. Well, how can you press those pedals? Can you go get in the passenger seat real quick and then I'll come in and I'll let you sit in my lap. Deal? And steal? Yes, you can steal. And you press the pedal. Yes, I'll do the pedals. So this truck is pretty loud. Are you cool with that? All right, here we go. Watch the lights, ready? Okay, it's super loud. Ready? Drive it. I didn't know you could drive a truck that good. Hmm. How did you know how to do that? Okay. Been practicing a lot? Yeah. So do you like the truck or not yeah. so much? Can I do it tomorrow again? You can do it every day. Yeah! As long as you can buy the 112 octane race gas for me. Yeah!
Do you like the lights? Yeah. What's your favorite part about this truck? I'm driving. Oh. Oh, hey, ladies. Looking good. Oh, hi. Oh, I got it for everyone. It's a, <laughs> it's a family truck. Hi, Mayor. Hi. Um, this is the Ultra 4 truck. Happy anniversary! Yeah, this thing looks ridiculous. Do you want to drive it? It looks no. ugly. <laughs> what? Also, please don't die. No, it's got a roll cage and fire. Look, it has three fire extinguishers. One there, one there, one on the cockpit. That's how you know it's safe. The fact that you need three fire extinguishers. How many fire extinguishers yeah. does your car have? Zero. zero. So mine's three times safer. Three times zero equals three. Dang it. Nope. Safest part about it is uh, five point harnesses. Your your car only has three point, so that's safer. So so far it's it's much safer than your vehicle. No, it's not. It doesn't have any windows or doors. Your windows are made of glass. Glass can break and get in your eyes. So this is actually safer with these things. It goes like that. It hooks up. It keeps rocks out of your face. You Ultra might, safe for the you family. Might, you might get tangled on that. It's true. You're not saying much. Well, your words aren't saying much, but your face is saying a lot. I really just have no words. Because it's so amazing. Um, cause it's Annie so loves it. Look at her. Boring. We knew Annie would love it. I'm mostly just worried about something. Um, me? Yeah. yeah. So, does it make you feel any better that this truck has rolled over a couple times before <laughs> and and it was fine no look look come here come over come over here come here come here come here so this truck has rolled three times it's and this is the only i was not in it this is the only damage to the truck look at this this dent here that totally makes me feel better good okay well we're good then it's three times it's been fine here dad why is Would you like to hear it start up? I heard it already from in the house, oh. in the closet, in our bedroom. <laughs> what is it? What is it? Can you... So this is a rear engine car, we have to go and you can see engine. that the exhaust dumps in the rear, which means the exhaust comes from the engine right there, comes through these headers down there, and is straight piped out the back. So it's a little loud because there's only like three foot of pipe and it's straight piped. For 440 cubic inches. What? Are you gonna turn it on? The tire looks like it's rotting. This tire's not rotten. This tire was used in the King of Hammers race, um, like once, and it it it's a little torn up. Is it a race truck? This is a race truck. You think mommy should go racing in it? I would watch that episode. Okay, so on a scale of one to ten. Are you on? One being totally fine, ten being I'm screwed. Where do I sit? Don't, don't forget, don't forget, we just went to Hawaii <laughs> and it was fun. So, yeah, that doesn't make it better. What? So, one to ten, where would, where would you rate me? I don't think you want me to answer that. Oh. Okay, love ya. You're, you're beautiful today, even more beautiful than normal. Just, I just, Bye. I love you so much. I love you. Goodbye for Thunderbolt. I, I love you so much. You're, you're beautiful. I love you. That could have been way worse. We're still married. <laughs> I think. I'm pretty sure she's not going to get paperwork right now. This truck. What do you guys think? Do you love it? Do you love it? So you heard me talk about the King of the Hammers. This truck has raced in the King of the Hammers. But what's even more impressive is it actually finished the King of the Hammers. So this sticker proves that. So it has, this is the original decals here. These are new panels that I'm going to get wrapped. I'm gonna also wrap the front. But this sticker was put on during the King of the Hammers and each one of these letters is another sticker on top of the sticker. I assume they put these on at checkpoints and then you get this, it's not focused. Fo there you go. And then you get this sticker when you finally finish. So I want to get all the 
all new decals, get it wrapped demolition ranch style. But I do want to leave this because that is super cool and that kind of that shows this truck is proven. This thing has been beat up but made it through. And then they rebuilt it because they were going to run it again at the 2018 King of Hammers. So it was all race ready, prepped, and then the driver decided not to run it again. And so we have a race ready, proven truck. Oh, it's just so awesome. And you know, thought maybe uh, Meredith would love it, but I didn't. I knew she wouldn't love it. But I'm just glad she doesn't ha hate it. Well, she didn't. We'll see what she says after she has some time to think it over. But I think she's still going to stay married to me, right? Probably. I should probably buy her a lot of flowers just to kind of smooth things over. Hey, guys, if you're interested in looking as good as me, we got awesome shirts. They have Demolition. We also have a brand new one. It's the OD Green version of the Demolition shirt. Link in description below. And I'm going to use this money to try to make my wife not hate me and get rid of the truck. So if you'd like to support your boy, you could really use your help right about now. Also, we still need a name for this truck. There were a lot of good suggestions in the last video, but I haven't really decided on them yet. The, the one that I, it kind of stands out is Hammer. I like that name. We call it, we call it the Hammer because it's competed, it's finished in the King of Hammers. It finished 18th place, which is impressive. If you have a name, I'm all ears. Let me know. Thanks for watching Off the Ranch. I'm glad that Meredith isn't divorced me yet. I love you and I'll see you next time.